Throughout the history of the New York Mets, many great pitchers have come and gone. But if anyone could come close to, or one day eventually surpass Tom Seaver in sustained excellence, it would have to be Jacob deGrom. The 6'4 right-handed pitcher came out of the gate running in 2014, and has continued to get better and better. DeGrom has pretty much single-handedly proven how ineffective the pitching win stat can be, as he has often been a victim of poor run support despite his pure excellence on the mound. Regardless, it's almost impossible to deny that DeGrom is in the top tier of pitchers in baseball today. Although his entire career story hasn't been written yet, there is a lot to be said, so sit back and enjoy the career biography of Jacob DeGrom. Jacob Anthony DeGrom was born on June 19, 1988 in De Leon Springs, Florida. When a young Jacob started showing interest in baseball, his father, Tony DeGrom, built a batting cage in the backyard for Jacob to practice. Jacob credits his father for his humility and quiet intensity, qualities that have made him successful at the mound. DeGrom attended Calvary Christian Academy in Ormond Beach, Florida, and excelled in baseball and basketball. As a senior, DeGrom was named to the All-Florida Second Team by the Florida Sports Writers Association. This is what got him noticed by the coaches for the Stetson Hatters, and they recruited him to come play for Stetson University. An interesting fact that may not be known is at this time and through his freshman and sophomore year at Stetson, DeGrom exclusively played shortstop. DeGrom was considered a good fielder with a strong arm, but he struggled at the plate. Up until that point, DeGrom carried a 263 batting line. Stetson decided that they wanted to take advantage of his strong arm, and Jake made his first appearance on the mound in May 2009. That fall, the team used DeGrom in the bullpen, and he eventually wound up as the team's closer. He progressed so quickly on the mound learning a changeup and slider to complement his fastball that sets and moved him to its starting rotation. Now up until this point, DeGrom wasn't really generating much interest from major league clubs. However, luckily for him, he pitched a game against Florida Gulf Coast University. Major league scouts were there to see pitcher Chris Sale, but DeGrom quickly made his way on their radar with his skill set. This was the turning point for DeGrom and the moment he knew he would focus on pitching full time. In that game, DeGrom actually ended up hitting his only home run of the year off sale. He ended up making 12 starts for the Hatters and finished up with a 4.48 ERA. In the 2010 MLB Draft, DeGrom was selected in the ninth round as the 272nd pick by the New York Mets. He was quickly assigned to the Kingsport Mets and made 6 starts before suffering a partial tear of his UCL requiring Tommy John surgery. This caused DeGrom to miss the rest of the season as well as 2011. This might have been a blessing in disguise though, as during this time, Mets star Johan Santana was sent to help him work on his changeup. DeGrom methodically worked his way through the Mets minor league system after that, finishing up 2012 with a 2.45 ERA, then moving up to the AA Binghamton Mets in 2013. He wasn't in Binghamton long though, as later that summer he was promoted to class AAA Las Vegas 51s. Unfortunately, a broken finger altered the way DeGrom threw the ball and he finished with a disappointing 4.51 ERA. DeGrom saw this as a desperate need to improve and used the offseason to work on his mechanics and he learned a curveball. It paid off immediately, as in his seven starts that year, he logged a 2.58 ERA and all seven were quality starts. DeGrom was promoted to the big league club New York Mets on May 12, 2014. The team initially planned to use him in relief But when starter Dylan G went down, the Mets quickly added DeGrom to the rotation, and on May 15th, he made his major league debut against the New York Yankees. And there is the rookie right-hander Jacob DeGrom, 4-0 at Vegas, getting ready for his first big league start. DeGrom quickly gained a lot of fans in Queens as he pitched seven innings, allowing only one run to go with six strikeouts. But in an indicator of things to come, he didn't get the win as the Mets were shut out 1-0. The next four starts for DeGrom all registered as quality starts, however, he didn't get the win in any of them. DeGrom ended up being named the NL Player of the Week for the week of July 21st and ended up winning NL Rookie of the Month for July. On September 15th, he tied the MLB record by striking out the first eight batters in a matchup against the Miami Marlins. He finished that year with 17 quality starts, 2.69 ERA, and 144 strikeouts. This all eventually led to DeGrom winning the NL Rookie of the Year, the first Mets since Dwight Gooden to receive the honor. Around this time, 
A lot of the attention for Mets pitchers centered around Matt Harvey, but this amazing campaign had many speculating that perhaps DeGrom was the one who deserved the most praise. He proceeded to put the baseball world on notice as he struck out all three batters he faced in the All-Star game on only 10 pitches. There you go. The reason why he has such a two from DeGrom. How about back-to-back strikeouts? The best stuff we've seen all night, in my opinion, on and off. Here comes the 0-2. Wow. Hi, I'm Jacob DeGrom. Finished the season with 23 quality starts, a 2.53 ERA, and 205 strikeouts as the Mets won the NL East and made a run all the way to the World Series. DeGrom started Game 1 of the NLDS against the LA Dodgers and allowed no runs and 5 hits over 7 innings. It tied the Mets' playoff franchise record for 13 strikeouts set by Tom Seaver in Game 1 of the 1973 NLCS. DeGrom also won the deciding Game 5 of that series on a 6-inning, 2-run effort and won Game 3 of the NLCS against the Chicago Cubs logging seven innings, giving up only two runs on four hits in a Mets sweep. He did start Game 2 of the World Series against the Kansas City Royals. However, he was not himself, as he allowed four runs on six hits over five innings. That's a ground ball into right center. In the score is Hosmer. Over to third is Morales, and it's 4-1. to one. The Mets ended up losing that series in five games. DeGrom received the Wilson Defensive Player of the Year award after the season for being the best defensive player statistically at his position, but for some reason did not receive a gold glove. The 2016 and 2017 seasons were more of the usual for DeGrom. The 2016 season ended up being cut a little short due to some nagging injuries, but if you're a Mets fan, you clearly remember almost the entire team being decimated by injury that year. He still managed to lock 16 quality starts and a 3.04 ERA with 143 strikeouts. On July 17th, he pitched a one-hit and one-walk complete game against the Philadelphia Phillies. Struck him out, and the ball game is over. A one-hit shutout for Jacob Degrom. Degrom, at the top of his game, throws his first major league complete game, and it is a masterpiece. On June 18th, 2017. DeGrom hit his first home run. In something uncharacteristic for DeGrom, he actually logged wins in eight consecutive starts from June 12th until July 24th, which tied a franchise record. He finished the 2017 season with 21 quality starts, 3.53 ERA, and 239 strikeouts. At this point, DeGrom is considered to be one of the best junk pitchers in the game. The best, however, was yet to come. 2018 turned out to be not only Jake's best year, but one of the best seasons for a pitcher in MLB history. DeGrom cut his trademark long hair as he found it distracting while pitching. This was clearly the right decision, however, as he was nearly unhittable with 1.70 ERA, which led all of baseball. This was the third lowest of any pitcher with 30 starts after MLB lowered the mound in 1968. He once again made the All-Star team. Considering the success he was having on the mound, it was time for the Mets to think about offering him a contract extension. During All-Star weekend, DeGrom's agent, Brody Van Wagenen, called for the Mets to engage in contract talks or, quote, seriously considered trade opportunities. Needless to say, this got many Mets fans nervous. DeGrom, though, didn't flinch under controversy, quietly chugged along and mowed down his competition. On September 3rd, he tied the MLB record by completing his 25th straight start, allowing three runs or less. He finished the season with 28 quality starts, but with only a 10-9 record. More controversy followed, as it was clear to any baseball fan that DeGrom deserved the NL Cy Young, but traditionally, a pitcher with a win total so low was not usually considered. This was pretty ridiculous, as stats show that if the Mets had scored four runs in all of DeGrom's starts that season, he would have finished with 30 wins. Cy Young voters clearly thought it was ridiculous too, as DeGrom easily won the Cy Young and received all but one first place vote. As 2019 came, the calls for a contract extension intensified. As fate would have it, 
The Mets hired DeGrom's former agent, Brody Van Wagenen, to be their GM. And the fans were delighted when the Mets and DeGrom agreed to a five-year, $137.5 million contract extension and an option for the 2024 season as well. With the contract out of the way, many fans and experts alike wondered how DeGrom would respond or if he could live up to his 2018 season. Luckily for Mets fans, the answer was yes. He started the season with an opening day victory over Max Scherzer in the Nationals, and his next start, he set a career high in strikeouts of 14. He was once again named to the NL All-Star team and had a second half that mirrored his 2018 season, going 7-1 with a 1.44 ERA and 117 strikeouts. He finished the year with 23 quality starts, a 2.43 ERA, and 255 strikeouts, and once again cruised to his second straight NL Cy Young, becoming only the 11th pitcher in history to do so. In December of 2019, DeGrom was named by the New York Post as the New York Athlete of the Decade. As the 2020 MLB season approaches, the Mets look promising and aim to return to the playoffs. There is no reason not to expect continued excellence from Jacob DeGrom. His quiet humility, hard work, and intensity on the mound will bring them a long way. He certainly has a lot to live up to, but DeGrom has shown time and time again that he is up to the task. And if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content, and don't forget to leave a comment to tell us what you would like to see in the future.